Okay, I'm back. Ah, hi. I'm back in the closet. I'm the girl from the closet again. Um, drinking my rock star in the closet. So, I decided to go back a few, oh, I don't know, 92? 92? I don't remember. And of course I don't have my glasses on. So I can't remember. I want to say 92. 1992? 91? But, um, yeah. My Poppy Z Bright Lost Souls collection. Now, this was the book that I found in the library that um, I fell in love with right away. And, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna, like, read it. I'm not gonna read the back to you and everything, but I suggest you go look up Poppy Z Bright, and if you're not already a fan. But this one was My Husband Got Me. Uh, it was signed to Lauren, but, uh, that's okay. It's signed. Um, my second one, Growing Blood, which I had a hubby get for me again. And uh, this one I had, I had Poppy actually sign. Uh, and I had him sign Always Follow the Dream. Because at the time I was writing my own book. And so I thought it would be kind of cool to like, I don't know was one of those, oh, we could personalize it, so I had them personalize it. I also have my well-worn dog-eared copy of Growing Blood. Uh, then we have Exquisite Corpse, which is my dog-eared copy of Exquisite Corpse. This, I want the hardcover, but I don't have the hardcover for this one. Um, can you see a theme going on here? I can't get my hair big enough, though. It doesn't want to be big enough. It just, it's, my hair is so thin, it just flops. Uh, are you loathsome tonight? Which I need a new one of, because this one is falling apart. Like, literally, like, literally, the pages are out of the book. So I need a new one of those. Um, let's see. The Devil You Know. I have that. I don't think this is, it's signed, but it's not signed, like it's like one of those manufactured signed ones. Um, so yeah, I've been a big fan of Poppy for quite a while, like a long time. Um, then we get into the uh, liquor collection, which I started with, yeah, the value of X which is another manufactured signed one, um, followed by Liquor, Prime, and Soul Kitchen, and then we have Duck. I also managed to score Duck. There's a good author picture! <laughs> Too bad that's not quite how Poppy looks anymore. If you guys didn't know, um, Poppy is now AKA Billy Martin. I don't, I, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't go like this. Poppy is now Billy Martin. Still lives in New Orleans with his partner Gray and uh, my friend. I like to call them my friends. I don't know. Hopefully, um, I want to go down and see them sometime. But I also have Guilty But Insane, which is just a bunch of, uh, like articles that Poppy wrote. Um, yeah, the other books I have, oh, Plastic Jesus. And is that one signed? Yes. Yes. To Joe and Ryan, peace. And then it's got this awesome drawing on the inside cover. So I love that. Uh, Poppy's been a huge influence on my life. When my mother passed away, I uh, turned to the books to help me get through it. So, if you're if you're like if you're depressed and you're down and, and you want something really good to read to relate to, 
then, oh, whoopsie, then look for Poppy. Apparently my necklace broke. Well, and it's going to get caught in my hair. Oh, shit. Oh, no, guys. Okay. All right, we'll take that off. Well, that stinks because I like that necklace. <sighs> I also have um, The Crow of Lazarus Heart, which is one of my very favorite books. Very, very favorite books. Wormwood, which is another really good book. And these are worn. You can see these are like well-loved books. And then recently, a couple weeks ago, I got the Courtney Love biography. Just because I wanted it, because Poppy wrote it, so I was like, I have to have that one too. I am sure I'm missing books. I know I'm missing things. But these are like the brunt of, of the collection. And uh, like I said, I found Poppy in a time in my life that, um, like, well, I had found it in high school. And it was awesome, and I loved them, but I wasn't really, like, into them, into them. And then my mom died, and, uh, I found the internet. <laughs> and I started, like, realizing that, hey, there are other people out there that love the same things I do. Uh, I met a guy, boy, I met a boy named Nothing, in the chat room that we used to hang out in, and, um, Ben's Vampire Chat. And he was, well... He called himself nothing, so obviously he was really into Poppy. So we clicked, and uh, we've been friends for many, many, many years. In fact, Zach, in my book, is the nothing, my friend nothing, that I knew. So he's in my book, um, Midnight Within. And the Midnight Within has references to Poppy's characters. Uh, nothing makes an appearance. Um, I think Trevor makes an appearance. The house makes an appearance. Uh, the French Quarter, like downtown, like New Orleans. Uh, what is my other influence in that book? There's quite a few Poppy. If you like Poppy and you know Poppy, there's quite a few um, references that I have permission to do. I, I got permission first because I wasn't going to be like, I'm just going to put these in my book and, and like run into, like, copyright issues later. Um, they're just kind of a tip of the hat thing. Uh, there's, there's a couple, I can't remember them all. There's a couple, there's a, a few that are in there that are definite tips. Oh, Doc Bright, Doc Bright is in my book. Um, let's see, I can't remember them all. Uh, I mean, the flavor of my book is, is hopefully kind of like, oh, Ghost and Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost and Steve are in my book. They're they're um, on TV, and then they're also like playing in a in the bar that uh, Black and the Boys are at. So anyway, the other day I had my birthday, and Ryan was gonna get me earrings that had like a skull, and I showed those in a picture the other day. Um, I. So, what happened was, is, um, uh, it's, a, it's actually a really long story. Uh, what happened was, is the earrings were delayed because things were going on in, in Billy and Dre's life that they needed to get taken care of. And I was fine with that. I was like, that's fine. If, if it doesn't come, it doesn't come till later, that's fine. I'm okay with it. But I got a package in the mail, and I went to go get it, and it was like, a, a good sized package, and I'm like, there's more than earrings in the package. And I kind of freaked out. I, I took the package in and I looked at Ryan and I said, hey, did you get me like something other than a, than the earrings? And he's like, no, I didn't. And I'm like, oh my god, there's a book in here. And he, so he kind of smiled and, and I ripped open this book, or ripped open the package, and I pulled out Antebellum Tales. Yes, I am fangirling, guys. I am fangirling hardcore. I'm sorry, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, fang, I'm fangirling. I am, because the <laughs> I was not expecting a book. And not only did I get a book, I got a book that says, 
for Joe, happy birthday. And then signed by Poppy. And this was not something I was expecting. So Billy, thank you very, very much. I, I just, I, yeah, I can't, you don't know how much this means. This, this means to me, this means everything. Um, I don't know, I just, yeah, I squeed, I fangirled a lot. So, yeah, that's my Poppy Z Bright collection, guys. I'm a little, um, obsessed with Poppy. No, not obsessed, but yeah, I, you know, I'm a big fan. I've always been a big fan, and I'm really glad I was able to get my own book out there and, and like, contribute in a way that kind of hopefully keeps Poppy going. I mean, if you, if you haven't read Poppy, go out and read Poppy. I will link everything below where you can get the books and stuff, and uh, yeah, ch definitely check it out. It is, well, Exquisite Corpse is about, um, serial killers. And I'm drawing a blank right now on everybody's names. <laughs> and, Zach, you're gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm having one of those days where I'm like, Ugh, who is all in that book? Um, Lost Souls, of course, is the southern goth, vampires, that kind of thing. Um, Liquor is a series with Gary and Ricky about two chefs in New Orleans. Oh, Gary and Ricky, there's an article that um, Zach, Zach wants to be a chef. In my book, Zach wants to be a chef, and he has like an article from one of the culinary magazines about Gary and Ricky. So that's another reference that I was able to stick in there. Uh, Let's see. Drawing Blood is one of my favorites. And of course, Zach. Zach and um, Trevor are two of my favorite characters of all time. I love Zach and Trevor. Um, I don't know. I just, I so relate to all the stuff that, that Poppy did, you know. That, and of course, I never. <laughs> I was always afraid to do, like, I was afraid to be goth. I was afraid to dress any differently than, than, I don't know, I was afraid to dress up. I was afraid to color my hair. I was afraid to, like, be different. I was more of a hairband, flannel shirt girl type thing. Um, and reading... Poppy's books really, like, uh, made me realize who I was, and when I went online and found other people that were similar and the same and liked the same music and, you know, um, also, <laughs> this morning, today, well, maybe I should talk about that later, um, uh, maybe I won't, um, Marilyn Manson was one of the very first, like, I don't know what you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, shock rock. I mean, I love Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper, I love him. He's awesome and amazing. But um, seeing Manson for the first time, like, it scared me. It scared me, but it thrilled me at the same time. And I was like, ugh. So you'll definitely see there's an, an, an aesthetic going on with me and uh, what kind of, like, music and what kind of type of people I like and, and what kind of type of people I like to write about. Um, yeah. But, alright, I'm not going to ramble. I just wanted to do a quick, like, shout out again. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Gray. Uh, I hope your house moving goes well. They're in the process of, like, moving across. It's only across the street, but still. The house needs to be cleaned, and they do have a GoFundMe, so if you guys... I'll, I'll link the GoFundMe. If everybody could just even five bucks, five bucks even, would be great. Just go help out and just, you know, give back to a couple of people that have been just awesome to me. They've been awesome. They've been awesome to a lot of people, and they've been an inspiration to a lot of people, so... 
okay, enough, like, um, butt kissing? <laughs> I'm not butt kissing, though. I'm, I'm really, I'm a big, big fan. I am. So, okay, guys. Stay spooky. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.